In this video I will be showing you guys how to get the latest version of D2X the iOS custom firmware on your Wii. So I will be using the latest Wii guide to follow along um, and showing you guys how to install this. But before what you want to do is just go into your Wii settings then go into the Wii settings right here and you just want to make sure that your Wii is connected to your internet. It probably is connected but if it isn't just scroll over and you're looking for internet right here. So just select this and make sure you just connect your Wii to your Wi-Fi. So you've just on connection settings and just make sure it's connected so once you have got your Wii connected to your Wi-Fi I'm sure most people do anyway what you actually want to do is get your Wii's SD card disconnect it and then go and connect it into your computer you also must already have the homebrew channel that's all I've got on my Wii just the homebrew channel so if you've got this then you're ready to install the custom firmware so let's disconnect our SD card let's put it into my computer and I will show you guys what to do from there Okay guys, so on your computer, this is the guide that I'm going to be following. This is the Wii.guide, probably one of the best Wii guides out there. So if you want to follow this instead of watching my video, you can just go ahead and do that. I will leave a link to this in the description, of course. But before I show this, you're probably wondering why I'm making this video. It's actually because this guy made like this Reddit rant about me. As you can see, Tech James does not care about your F.Wii. Um, so yeah, this guy was uh, kind of hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he was really like petty and stuff and that's why I'm making the video just so this guy can stop crying um, So yeah, I would show you but he actually removed it. Um, it was really funny It was definitely worth a read because uh, this is probably like one of the most pathetic people I've ever seen But there you go. There is your shout out. So congratulations And anyway, let's carry on with this guide So what you guys want to do first you will need three things a Wii Make sure your Wii is connected to the internet as I already said you need your SD card Make sure this is plugged into your computer right now and now you just just want to click on this do2x see iOS installer it's going to bring you to this downloads page and all you guys want to do is just click where it says here and it's actually going to start downloading the d2x see iOS installer zip file so once that's done um, we can just close that off and now I'm just going to go through the rest of the guide so let's go to our downloads folder let's find the zip file we just downloaded we're going to get this zip file we're going to right click it and we are going to select extract here it's then just going to extract it into an apps folder and it's very simple you get this apps folder and you drag and drop this onto your SD card and it's basically just going to copy across all of the files we need maybe your SD card didn't have an apps folder before and um, that's fine if your Wii is just like brand new and set up and there you go so now we can disconnect our Wii's SD card from our computer let's go and plug this into our Wii and then I'll show you guys what to do from there Okay guys, so once we're back off our computer and we've got our SD card back into our Wii, we can actually go and launch up the Homebrew channel. From here, we can go and install the custom firmware. So what this custom firmware means, it basically means we can play backup games off USBs, um, you can get Nintendo working I believe, you can get um, USB loader GX working, loads of different stuff like that, even Wii Flow. So what we're going to do, we're going to press A on this, we're then going to scroll over to load and you can just press A or you can just select it with the cursor. And then you're going to get to this screen and um, basically just tells you a bit about it, tells you who made it. And you just want to press any button to continue. So you can just press A on your controller. And then once we're on this stage, what you can do is you can actually move the cursor left and right. Basically what we want to do is change everything. So as you can see, if I move the D-pad up and down, you can see that little arrow is moving on what I've got selected. Basically just copy what I put. It's also in the guide and then we can just get this set up. So once you've got it looking exactly like that, so it's beta 52, um, 56, 249, 65535, you can press A on your controller and it's going to go to this page. All you want to do from this part is press A to install. So now it's just going to start installing. This shouldn't really take too long, um, so we're just going to wait for it. Okay, so on this bit, it just says press A to continue, so just press A. And now we need to set up the next um, settings. Okay, so these are the next settings. It's just the same one, beta 52. Um, then we've got base is 57, the slot is 250, and the CIOS revision is 65535. Again, we can just press A to continue. And then on this part, just press A as well. And then again, we just wait for it to install. It doesn't really take too long, but um, you just wait. And then again, just press A to continue at this point. And now this is the last one that we actually have to set up. 
Okay, that is it. Um, the settings are just like this. So we've got beta 52. This time the base is 58. The slot is 251. And the revision is same, 65535. We're just going to press A to continue on this. And then we're going to press A to install. And it's just going to install again. So this is just the last time. After um, this is done loading, we can actually exit out of it. And then you just press A to continue. And there you go. We are back and we are actually done. That is it. So we actually press B on our controller to exit. So just press B and then we can just go back to the main menu. It's going to say exiting. And there you go. That is how you install the um, D2X CIOS custom firmware. That is pretty much it for this video. You can now follow the other videos on my channel. They're all pretty old, but they probably still work, I guess. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.